Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we're talking about all the craziness that's going on over on TikTok and all the exploitation that is just running hog wild. TikTok, I've said this many times, is the wild west of child exploitation. And if you're like me or like others who call them out, you will get banned. I'm on my fourth ban on TikTok and I didn't post it in months. So if you come after their big creators that are exploiting their children, TikTok will kick you off. YouTube is different. That's why I love YouTube. YouTube protects its creators. You get fair use. They will protect the creators. TikTok seems to not give a crap about child exploitation and it is getting really seriously dangerous, but they have made some changes and there's a couple accounts we want to take a look at. One of them is Ren Eleanor or Ren Jacqueline or something like that. The other one is Bebop and Bebe. And then we're going to do an update on Maya Knight, what's going on over there. And then we've got this other TikTok mom who put her kid on and she's trying to tell us that her one-year-old gave consent. Yeah, I know. We're thinking the same thing. Let's go. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Hit the subscribe and the bell and all the shit, or don't, I don't care. Uh, or join my Patreon or join the channel here and you get sweet emojis, which is nice. Um, and if you want, go to the Teespring link below and you can get yourself some sweet merchandise. That's how you can support this channel. And I appreciate that. All right, first things first, I'm going to bring up this one here. So this lady's name is, I don't even know. But it's not that, that big of a deal. It's really not really about her. It sort of is. But it's interesting because this creator, I went through her profile, and she doesn't have a ton of her children on there. But she did do one with her kid. And then she got accused, and then she made this video. And I want to say that this sort of gives me a little bit of hope because there are people out there instantly hammering on those creators who are exploiting their children. It is absolutely becoming a no-no. It is. It's becoming gross to do. Everybody's getting called out for it. Yes. So that's part of it. And the reason I had to make this video is because she was called out for doing the thing. But let's watch what she has to say and we'll tear it apart a little bit. So I was accused of exploiting my child on social media. So okay. let's clear that up. First, we Please. did this trend. Trend. And someone in my comments was like, he clearly didn't want to do this. Stop forcing your child to do things for clout. That's exploitation. That's what people, that's what you do it for. So, yeah. Is she wearing, is she have a filter on that makes her eyes bigger or something? It's like she's wearing bubbles glasses. You're exploiting your child on social media. So, stop doing this. Like, if you really want to do a serious video, don't do this. Um, like, not exploiting my child on social media. No, why don't you do this? Be like, you know what? I've been accused of exploiting my child on social media. Let me tell you why it's not a big deal. Instead of doing stuff like this, it makes it sound like you're not taking it seriously. And you should be. And that's why no one believes you. Um, first, let me point out that he was laughing and smiling. And second, let me point. Nope. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That I don't do anything without my one year old's consent. <laughs> really? That's amazing that your one year old can consent. Your one year old who poops in his pampers or her or whatever. Sounds like him. Okay. Your one year old who would never survive, probably doesn't even speak. Right? Probably just started walking. Okay? I'm sorry. Nope. Every time you hear an influencer say the words, I asked for my kid's consent, just trust me on this one. No, they don't. Because kids can't give consent. The parents can make the consent for them. We have to concede that. It's just a matter of, is it okay to do? Is it right to make your kids to give your kids privacy away for the internet, for predators to watch, things like that. So as soon as you hear this, you can automatically just disregard everything they say after that. Because that is ridiculous. Have you ever talked to a one-year-old? They don't even know what the word means. Okay? Also, it can't be informed consent regardless of their age. Because to this day, we still don't know, well, we're starting to see though, how dangerous, dangerous this is for them. We are really starting to see it. And they don't know that. Are you telling them everything that could, the, the potential outcomes of this? Are you telling them everything? They're one. You damned liar. Oh, I hate this. Just, you make yourself look ridiculous when you say something like that. And you look ridiculous anyway. He saw me filming. He saw me doing the trend on the couch. And I had to do it a few times because I didn't like the take. 
Mm-hmm. The take that okay. I had posted, he had actually come up to me and sat on my lap, saw what I was doing, and started doing it too. He was laughing. Remember, she didn't like that take, okay? And then his dad said, no, 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 come here. And he got up and started to go towards his dad. His dad's thought process was, oh, no, you're going to ruin the take. Just sat down, realized what I was doing, wanted to do it too. And his dad's talking to him. So okay, so you said you'd kept doing takes and takes because it was bad. That was a terrible take. You didn't do it properly at all, but you used that one. Interesting. Interesting. Can you tell me your opinion? Is that video child exploitation? I'm going to answer her question. No. And I know you guys are going, whoa. I mean, it sort of is. It depends, right? When I'm looking through that girl's channel, I don't know what it is, but I did look through her TikToks, and her kid is like barely, barely on there. So it kind of doesn't meet the threshold of exploitation as far as I'm concerned, Okay. If your kid isn't the reason you're making your money, if they're not in like, you know, at least over 10% of your videos, okay? I mean, you're, it's very, very clear cut. It's very easy to tell if someone is exploiting their children for money. Like very, very simple. If your kid is in passing or not in there, you're not doing ads with them or it's not your content is does not require your children at all and it's just something, that's not, I don't, I don't consider that exploitation. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people consider me really black and white in a lot of things, but I have made this clear from day one. That like in passing, it is okay. Where I draw the line is how much do strangers know about your children? They know their name, middle name, last name. They know any medical history. Have they been to the hospital? Any injuries they've ever had? Do they know what school they go to? Do they know what dance program they go to? Have they seen them in leotards? Have they seen them dress? You know, have they seen them shave their legs? Have their period? Uh, there's a lot of information you give around your, uh, that these people will give about their children, and that is that's bad, right? There's a threshold for sure. I don't know that kid's name. That kid looks like he was in one out of like 700 videos. So no, it's not exploitation. But we have to go back to her saying she's trying to like stick up for herself and saying I'm not exploiting my children. So yeah, she's wrong. And then um, so let's do a little bit of Maya night update. If you didn't know what was going on, I mean, I haven't really been following up too much on Maya just because she's boring AF. But and I've been kind of waiting for other things to kind of fall in place, which we'll see if they do. But uh, my night's making it sound like baby daddies in the picture and all that stuff, and it might be. But uh, this is the one thing that she did do, and she's not growing as fast anymore. The the Maya Knight sub groups in Reddit have exploded. Okay, so Maya Knight Snark has something like 18,000 followers. Maya Knight, just normal, has like 14,000, and then there's another Maya Knight Snark sub two that's like thousands and thousands and thousands so people are waking up to who she really is to the exploitation of children in the end i really don't care about maya okay sure she's a she could be a bad mom she could be an amazing mom i don't think that she's a good mom because she fully exploits her children she knows she does and she does things like this so happy. just just showing you there that her kids are sleeping in a car and she's traveling right now, okay? Just so you can see that, those kids are alone in a vehicle. And the vehicle's probably running with the AC on, right? Everybody's like, well, it's super dangerous to leave your kids in the car if you don't leave it on. So I'm just going to assume she's not that stupid, okay? Because your kids could die if they're in a hot car. I'm going to assume the vehicle's turned on, the AC is running. So the kids are sleeping. Cool. I'm going to take some cool GoPro stuff, but I forgot the SD card. What you need is a wind filter. So there's her one friend. There's her other friend. And they are down on the beach. Their kids are in a parking lot. It, I don't care if the parking lot is 10 feet away. It's probably not even. It's probably 20, 30 yards away. Kids are sleeping in a vehicle with the keys on while these moms go swim in the ocean. Or these people do. So I just wanted to show you guys just one more thing, one more reason why you got to stop giving your social media currency to people like this. She doesn't care. Okay. She does this on purpose. She knows she's going to get views and hate because she, she thrives in that. Okay. She makes tons and tons and tons of money traveling all around, just vacationing with her kids and her kids are her content and it's only going to get worse. So just stop using Maya Knight as an example of a good mom. Because if you read through the comments, like she's such an amazing doing her best. Are you, are you telling me that it's an, I cannot believe that her stands still to this day will go to bat for her for that. They're like, how do you know someone wasn't in there? Because she showed us, you donut. She showed us no one was in the vehicle. 
You do not leave your children in a strange place with the car running, keys in it, and then just go down to the beach with your friends. In an instant, something could happen. I know it didn't, but it could. No parent worth their salt would ever do something like that. And the people that follow my, I think that that's okay. If you're a parent and you think that's okay, please go get help. Please. Don't ever, ever do that. Maya Knight, for all intents and purposes, I know TikTok is a flash in the pan. As far as we're seeing longevity of social media platforms, TikTok is not going to last. I tell you that right now. It's not. It's already starting to diminish. TikTok is garbage because it doesn't protect its creators. And they'll make it's a flash in the pan before it's gone. China owned. It's it's harvesting your information. Eventually, a politician is going to come in and ban it anyway, because it is literally a. If you guys don't realize what TikTok is taking from you, you're my, you're stupid. Okay, it's crazy what kind of shit that they're harvesting from the free users, right? And again, they don't protect people. And if you call out child exploitation on the platform, they will remove you. Why are they removing the people calling that out? Surprising, but it shouldn't surprise you. Okay, but my knight is not a good parent, is not someone you should be standing or looking up to. She is terrible and she exploits her kids unlike anything else. So that's the my knight update. She's a dingleberry. So this account here has been kind of been mentioned to me multiple, multiple, multiple times. Like I've seen a couple of videos. Of course, I'm creeped out. Yes, like everybody else. It is called Bebop and Bebe. And this is a TikTok account with 1.3 million followers, 20 million likes. Um, fun account, variety show, but I need you to see some of this stuff and how effing weird it is. Okay. It's a cosplay account of this absolute mom who peaked 45 years ago using her daughter to sell Jordache jeans and they, they look similar and she dresses her daughter in like hundred pounds of makeup. They look almost identical. And the mom's angle is always like up here with the camera. She's always like, Hey, look at me. And the daughter's always dead on. And it's really, really, really weird and creepy. And, um, I couldn't even find the analytics for this. That's how crazy this is, but this is what it looks like. What's with, What's with your face? What's with your face? What's with your face? The thing that really bugs me too most is that they're really not good at this. Like they don't even know how to mouth the words properly. It's just really creepy. And I don't know what it is about this. You can't have that cookie, Elmo. They paint their, they put a white dot on their nose. Okay. If I can get a hold of the, if I can get a hold of the analytics for this channel, I guarantee you this one is going to be followed by the most men of all the other channels. Like we uncovered Everly LeBrant's uh, things and all that stuff. We're going to uncover Ren and Jacqueline's in a second here. But um, I guarantee you that there's nothing normal about this. This is really, really weird. And if you just look at any of the comments in any of the videos, like they're, they get like this one's 7 million hits. This girl's like six and she looks like she's 20. <laughs> That's not normal. Where are we as a society that this is, this is what people do? This is crazy to me. People, here's the comments. Why did this video seem completely off? Can't wait for the Netflix documentary. Why does the sound slow down? Why does it give me talking Angela vibes, kidnapped, abused? Almost, there's nothing, there's no normal comments in this, in this, in any of them. There's not just people like, oh, you're awesome. Everybody thinks this little girl's in danger has been kidnapped or otherwise. Something is wrong, Right. How does this kid have time to even go to school? They post daily TikToks where they're doing their makeup for hours. I'm not, everybody's like, oh, it's TikTok. It takes 30 seconds to do. No, in order to do this level of what they're doing, you're talking hours for makeup, for retakes, for everything else, for, for planning it, for the, even the movements that they have to do together. It is not normal. Kidnap. They all think something is wrong. And I don't know anything about this mom. There's no one knows her real name. No one knows anything about these people. And I'm looking, I'm trying to figure it out. And I don't think honestly that it's that type of situation, but this mom knows who's watching this account and I'm trying to unlock the analytics. So this type of really creepy behavior is insane because none of the video comments are like normal. Like, Hey, I love you guys. So cool. I stand you. And there's not even kids. It's just people thinking that this girl is being trafficked or that she's been kidnapped or something. This is not normal. And this mom and this kid is weird and TikTok allows this to continue. 
So let's look in. And if you look in, if you look, click their little link to go to their whatever, it's Jordash. So if you buy Jordash jeans, please let Jordash know that you're no longer going to buy Jordash jeans because they're connected to this exploiter that is disgusting. That is really weird that a company sees that and is like, let's let's use this let's use this really really weird creepy channel to to advertise our jeans. That is so weird. So Jordash, you fail. You suck ass, Jordash. The other one I want to look at is Ren and Jacqueline. I know this has been on my docket for so long. Um, I did cover the one where she was like, you get your toddler to like mimic what you do. And she was shaving her vagina with and like putting a pad in and all that stuff. And everybody's like, cute, funny. It's not cute and funny. This is not cute and funny. Like th this one here. Not fucking funny. And you film this for the world to see. And people are like, no, 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 it's not funny. It's not funny. Again, and the people who stand up for this are like, these are short snippets. It was a TikTok trend. Good God, leave the poor lady alone. It doesn't matter if it's a TikTok trend. If pranking your children and making them cry is a TikTok trend, that is a TikTok trend you shouldn't do. Kids don't understand the joke. You bunch of assholes. That's the problem. People will stand up for this type of behavior. Okay? And so, I don't know what's happened on TikTok. She's just got her comments back. She was removed for a little while, but then came back. But now that she's posting Instagram again, she's disabled the comments. And there's a TikTok girl who went out there and she found all the creepy comments. But if you go just through any of Ren and Jacqueline's um, Instagram, there's a lot of men. She's so cute. She looks like a toy. Mohammed Farmat. I don't know. Again, there's a lot of people from the Middle East commenting. Um, princess by this guy. What is going on here? Why can't I see these people's? Why is this dude calling a little like toddler a princess on Instagram? Such a sweetie. This guy here. This guy's calling this girl a sweetie. Why are men commenting on this girl's profile? And Ren, Jacqueline, I don't know who, who the mom is, knows that this is going on. She knows this is happening. And she doesn't care. The thing is, she knows, and she that's the engagement level she gets, and she thrives in that engagement level. It's another thing on TikTok. I don't know why that they were removed. They were being mass reported. It seems to be a little bit of hope here, a little glimmer, a little flicker of hope that if you can mass report these channels en enough, TikTok will finally take action, but not really because she's still on TikTok and her comments are still back on. This is a mom that completely exploits this child every single day of this child's life. And this 17 million on TikTok, 230,000 on Instagram. And I want to show you the um, analytics here. This is... From the same place I get my analytics, you know, it cost a lot of money. I had to pay a lot of money for these analytics. So this is, I only pulled the analytics from TikTok, okay? Um, just because it is, that's their biggest platform. So they have 17.5 million likes on TikTok, okay? Um, their engagement thing is off just because I think they just became demonetized on TikTok for some reason. I don't know why. I'm looking into it. Um, and so... They, you know, they get average views of 1.3 million, but I always go down to this. I always want to look at the audience demographics of a kid's channel, right? What are we looking at here? Okay. And in this case, you've got the audience countries broken down. USA has 24.22%. Mexico, Brazil, um, United Kingdom, Germany, Philippines, Indonesia, Egypt, Russia. Okay. All over the place. And between the breakup of the 17.5 million, 77.45% of those are female, which, you know, that makes sense, okay? Females are looking at the cute little baby. I get that. I understand that, right? But here's what you, it doesn't even matter if this was 1%. Why is there 22.55% of 17.5 million fans, male, over the age of 18? Okay, this one does not show any younger demographic because TikTok, you're not supposed to be on there unless you're 13 or above. Okay, now before everybody goes off and be like, these analytics are wrong, it's kids looking through their dad's accounts. How many, honestly, like how many dads do you know in your circle are on TikTok? And it might be a little bit, but I honestly couldn't tell you anybody in my circles 
that is on TikTok. Mark's, my buddy Mark's on there because he does a building channel, but I don't know any dudes, dads out there that are really, really, really on TikTok. So it's not just kids going on their TikTok account. And if it is, okay, why are they using their dad's account? Okay, I can understand that the audience females, there's a lot of women who use TikTok and go through those accounts and look at that for sure. It's, it's pro- All social media is d- generally driven by women. Mostly, you know, it's mostly women. We can't argue with that, okay? Like the, the higher demographic is women. So let's just say, for argument's sake, that 10% of the 22% is just kids scrolling through their dad's accounts. We could take that right out, right? Okay, we're gonna take 2.25% out of there. Okay, so we're going to do 20.5% of 17.5 million. Okay, because let's just be real. So what is 20% of 17.5 million? 20% of 17.5 million is 3.5 million. Okay, so there's 3.5 million men watching this little girl on TikTok. Of those 3.5 million, over the age of 18 is 36%. Okay, 18 to 24. Those are adults. Okay. You got that? So of of the 3.5 million. So, but here's where this gets a little bit crazy. Of the ages of 25 to 34 or 30 to 35 plus makes up the majority of it. Okay, so 51%, 62, 63%. Alexa, what's 63% of 3.5 million? 63% of 3.5 million is 2.205 million. Okay, so let's just, for whatever reason, they're all adults. So it's three point, like again, 3.5 minus the 10%, we took it off already. Okay, there are kids watching TikTok. There are teenage boys on TikTok. There's a lot of teenage boys on TikTok. So I'll give you that. But this demographic, if there are teenage boys on TikTok, those teenage boys will have their own account. So we can wipe out anything below the age of 18 for that. So let's just take out that 36%. So let's just say of, of the ages that are registering over 25 to 35 plus is 2.2 million people. Why are there 2.2 million adult men watching Ren and Jacqueline? And she knows this. Okay. She absolutely knows that that's who's watching this. That is a really, really, really scary figure that everybody should be like, oh my gosh, that is craziness. And I'm being really, really, really conservative with that estimate. Okay. A lot of people will be like, no, it's all kids. You think it's literally all kids on their dad's phone on TikTok? Give me a break. In, the, in, the, in a generalized situation of home life, okay, generally, hear me out. And I think you'd be with me on this. Are dads really giving over their devices to the kids to scroll through phones or are moms doing that? Right? Okay. And you can't really just log into a television and see it, TikToks. You have to be on a phone watching TikToks. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give into that whole it's probably just kids on their dad's accounts. Sorry, I can understand teenage boys, but why are teenage boys watching Ren and J- Jacqueline? That's not their target. So I don't even believe that. Teenage boys are on there looking at thirst traps and doing their own thing and dancing and doing shit. They're not looking at this. So why are three million men watching Ren and Jacqueline? This little girl pretend to shave and do all these crazy things. What is going on here? That is a demographic and an analytic you can't ignore. And these are paid analytics here. This isn't social blade. This is a different analytics, guys. This is a very, very, very high-end analytic that I've reached out to the creators of. I pay hundreds of dollars to use this, okay? Hundreds of dollars. This is the gold standard in, in engagement analytics, meaning who is engaging with the account, they can pull that apart. That's why big businesses pay huge dollars to see what you are seeing right here. Okay. This is not cheap and that's why it's not cheap because it is good and it is very accurate. Okay. We did the same thing with Everly LeBrant. So Ren and Jacqueline knows, I don't know her mom's name. They know who's looking and they don't care. And this is the scariest part about this whole world with Bebop and what's her face, Bebe with Maya Knight with all these TikTok moms out there just throwing their kids out there because they know it's going to make them money. They do not care about the millions and millions of predators that are watching their kids. And again, you have to understand that there are millions of predators, millions watching, making playlists, doing gross things to these videos, possibly even making deep fakes with the children's faces. Okay. And we know that there are SEX doll sites who are asking, who are being asked to create SEX dolls with the, in the likeness of these children. Okay. 
There's a huge industry behind the scenes that we'll never see. The deepest, darkest industry is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. It's the most disgusting thing I think we've ever, that we, if we ever did get to see it, it would scare the living shit out of you. It is absolutely, it's even illegal for us to go looking for that to prove it. That's how scary that is, okay? You can't go look for it because if you come onto it and you find it, you are breaking federal law. That's how scary this is. That none of us even know the depths. And until someone gets the balls to do it or is federally protected in the way that they do it and a documentary is created, when you see it, I guarantee you the, the laws will change because there are people doing disgusting things with this content that these moms are feeding up on a silver platter to the world. The, the parasocial relationships that are being created between these little kids and adult males, and you can see it through the comments, is unacceptable. And as any mom or any dad out there who had her kid on social media, if I had my kid on social media and I saw adult men commenting like beautiful princess, all these kind of things to my, to my toddler, I would be done. You got to be some special kind of moron to not see that there are predators coming after your kids. And people are, and then the argument is going to be made. Well, you can't help there's predators out there. Well, you're not going to go outside. If Be real with me. If you're again, I've said this before. If you're going to take your kids to a park and you know that there are predators at that park, are you taking your kids to that park? Are you going to let your kids go to that park by themselves? No, you're not. You're going to protect your kids. Nobody sees the deep, dark craziness behind all this until it's going to be too late. And we've said that mo many times over and over and over again. It's going to take someone to be kidnapped, killed, or otherwise before anything changes. And we're looking at the demographics, we're looking at the analytics, and we're seeing that there's a problem here. There's a pattern of behavior. We're seeing comments of it. What else do social media platforms need to see to change the rules? There's a few things they could easily do. Just ban children on the platform altogether. It's really easy to do. Nope, just report it. If you see a kid, we want it off. This is adults. This is for adults. You need laws passed that say you are not allowed to share your kids on social media. We don't want it on our social media platforms. No kids anymore. Does you, nobody seems to find that crazy that everybody's just like, yeah, post all the kids you want. That is so weird to me. No, there is no reason for kids to be on the internet. None whatsoever. None. You don't need it. People are like, oh, I'm making memories. Make it private. These social media platforms make billions of dollars off children's content. That's why they haven't made any changes. The laws aren't going to change until something happens. And it's going to happen. That's really, really scary. Oh, guys. Pay attention and mass report these accounts. Just mass report them. That's it. These, this, uh, this Bebop and Bebe, nobody knows who she is. Do you guys even find that really weird? She's making millions of dollars and she's an anonymous weirdo that paints her nose white. Okay, Ren and Jacqueline, she barely says words. How does she get that many followers? Because predators are watching her children. That's why. This should not be a thing. TikTok doesn't give a shit. TikTok is the wild west of child exploitation. You know, it happens on YouTube a lot. It does. But TikTok is like, they protect that. They will protect the exploiters. So if I were to say this on TikTok, I would just get banned like I always do. Lots of accounts who are calling these people out are even scared to mention names because they're getting mass flagged by these people who think this is okay. We are in a really weird position as a, as a species. Like, we need a new flood or some shit. I don't know. It's crazy. Ugh. These videos always get me because I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Like, I, I feel like I'm the only one who sees it. Like, I know you guys do see it with me, but I feel like we're the only ones who see it. And no one really just, it's a way bigger deal than people are making it out to be. It's so much bigger and so much deeper and darker than we think. And the fact that we can't even see how dark it is because it is illegal for us to see that. That's how scary that is. If you showed Maya, Ren and Eleanor, Baby, whatever they came, kids on a CP site... They're not going to change anything about it. And they know it exists. If you knew your kid was on one of those sites, even if you couldn't see, if you just, someone told you, what would you do as a parent? Would you take your kids off the internet? You're damn right you would. Because you're good parents. These people care more about money than their kids' safety. Full stop. Take a deep breath. Insanity that we have to keep talking about this. Because nobody seems to give a shit. And I'm gonna it's and I'm not gonna be happy. Nobody's gonna be happy the day that one of these kids that gets
gets hurt. Nobody's going to be happy about it. And it's going to be heartbreaking. And it's so scary to think that there are these predators out there literally leaving comments on these kids' channels and no one seems to care. And people will actually stand up for them and, pr and be like, no, this is okay. They think it's okay. It's not okay. But you guys are amazing for being here, for spreading this message, for being a part of this whole thing. Couldn't do it without you, and I really, really appreciate you. You are incredibly valuable. Don't you forget it. I'll see you tomorrow.